Matt Hoffman has a very Daisy. impressive bike park and ramp park at his factory in Oklahoma, but he kind of likes to bring home on the road with him, in a manner of speaking. Hi, we're at First Beach in Newport, and this is the beach behind me, and this is my rig. Like they already say, Trekker's got bigger rigs. I think that's what they say. Through the years, we just kind of upgraded to this one. I'm American by birth, trucker by choice. It's a self-contained um, kind of a bike park, and we just bring it all around to different fairs and expositions and um, do shows on it. That's pretty extreme. It takes about five guys, about four hours to set it up perfectly. Oh. I mean, this is just it. This is everything. It's my favorite part. When you talk about freestyle biking, you gotta start with Matt Hoffman. Hoffman is known in some quarters for breaking virtually every breakable body part. He really should be known for being the man who has redefined this sport. No one goes bigger or better than Matt Hoffman. Matt Hoffman pumping airs. He knows where the coping is. He knows exactly where it is all the time, the can-can. He'll start off small, and then he'll spread it out. Look at this. Look at this guy's circus act. He pushes the bike out over the coping and then pulls it back in. Ridiculous! And he puts some English in the 540 back-to-back -back with a tail whip. Now he'll go coping. Grinds. And watch him as he whips the tire up there. Oh, he got hung up hard. Got hung up out. on the coping. But even so, it already has been a tremendous ride for Matt Hawk. I mentioned the word tail whip. That's when you take the tail of the bike, the back rear wheel, and you whip it around. First done by Joe Johnson. He invented the tail whip. He's here today. He retired at 22. He told me this afternoon he's going to get back into it. Matt Hoffman is going to give him his first bike. Matt Hoffman, double bar spin. Just hold your breath while you watch. Oh. Can you count him? Did you count him? I'm thinking that was 1080, but I'm not sure. It might have been a triple tail whip. I think it was a triple tail whip is right, and he goes over backwards. This score won't be as high as Dave Mira's, though. Well, Matt Hoffman throwing huge risk factor in there. The judges looking for height, variety, and overall impression. Here we go. Matt Hoffman, the condor, the can-can. That's so difficult as he brings both feet off the bike and kicks. And let's see how many rotations we have. Here we go. One, two. He tried a triple. Ah, he, he was going two and a half. That's, an, that's just amazing. 86-80, he's in third place behind Mira and Miron. A little bit disappointed, perhaps, in his first run, which was scored at 86.80. After the second run, the judges will average all the scores and reseed the riders 12 through one. It'll be worst first and first last in the third and final round. And you know that Hoffman's gonna be there among the best of them. You know, a lot of people have been getting him confused with Arlo Eisenberg because they look alike. You don't get him confused with Arlo here on the big egg half pipe. Right on, Matt is bringing out all the stops. He electrifies the crowd. It's part of the reason that they have three runs. You can have one that's not so great to still have at least a chance to win. Matt Hoffman with a lot of variety, a tremendous amount of height. Matt, three judges look only at overall impression. Jack, Matt is doing, uh, Matt Hoffman's doing candy bars, can cans, no foot candy bars. What's a candy bar? He's doing it besides bad for you. A candy bar is one leg through and over the bars. We saw that in the dirt riding competition. You take your leg out off the peg, off the pedal, and you bring it over the handlebar. That's a candy bar. Look at that. Video camera out. Matt Hoffman tried a 900 
That's what he does. He steps it up. He's, he's having a good time asking how much time he has left because you know he's going to uncork another one. Look at this guy. Go, Matt. He's he is guy. unbelievable. Matt Hoffman, the condor. You can see why. Look at Matt Hoffman coming off the bike, a can-can, bringing it back down, right onto the pedals. And look how high he's still up in the air. And then he comes back, the 900 attempt. Look at this guy spin in midair, way, way up there. He would have made that. I bet you he'll make that in this contest. Oh, mercy. Checking his time and checking his life expectancy, maybe. After two rounds, Matt Hoffman has a one-tenth of a point lead over Dave Mira. And Matt Hoffman hey, Mom. is inside his own. Not forgetting who's important. Yeah. Will Matt Hoffman come down? It's not just a rhetorical question about freestyle biking. Will he come down to the pack? Right now, he is in first place. But you average all three rounds. So if Hoffman has a bad one here, he won't win. But right now, this guy is way up there in the stratosphere. Newport, Rhode Island, known for the first ever circus in the United States. Well, who knows what Matt Hoffman will do first tonight at the Extreme Games. He always unleashes new tricks. Some tricks nobody even can dream of. Matt Hoffman, the 540 with the hands on her and the tail whip. He's gonna go conservative. <laughs> Look at this, tail whip back to back. Again, again, the 540 low. And another tail whip. He somehow got the left foot out of the pedal and he keeps going. People are going nutty here. This is amazing run for Matt Hoffman. He has won this contest just with that little part right there. Now, the crack behind him, he knows that we're here. Look for a 900. Look for something big. Matt Hoffman getting his lip tricks down. You can hear the crowd saying 900, 900. He looks up, sees himself on the big screen above the Fort Adams here. Jack, watch what he does here, big guy. Thrashed off the bike at the very last second. Coming down from about 25 feet high, landing in the transition. There's Tom Fry, the vert champion for inline. He's eating it up. Watch Matt Hoffman. Look at the tail whip. He is amazing. The tail whip coming down, and then we've got a back-to-back -back trick. That's what he is known for. Here's the 540. And here is the triple tail whip attempt. Look at this thing spin. And he almost makes it. He just bottoms out at the last second. The 1080 almost down. But Matt Hoffman, as usual, on top of the world among freestyle bikers. He's the champion at the Extreme Games. Hoffman, Mira, Miron, McCoy, Parker. They don't call him the Fab Five for nothing. Enough thrills for you? There's your final result in the half pipe for these freestyle bikes.